In this lesson, we're going to look at how to solve linear equations with fractions. And I know as soon as you see the word fractions, you think of all kinds of drudgery and hard work and time-consuming calculations with lots of steps, but in this case, it's really going to be much easier than you think. We are working with equations now, so instead of trying to get common denominators, we're going to be able to clear out the denominators altogether. And the way we do that is first I want you to find the lowest common denominator, the LCD, but I don't want you to make all the denominators the same. I want you to use the LCD as a multiplier. So we're going to, after we find the LCD, we're going to multiply all the terms in the equation by the LCD, and then we will reduce. And when you reduce, you'll find that all the denominators cancel out and you will be left with just a plain, ordinary, linear equation that will be easy to solve. Let's see what we're talking about here with our first example. Let's solve x over 3 plus x over 8 equals 11 over 24. For this example, our common denominator for all three of these would be 24 because that's the smallest number that 3 and 8 and 24 can all three go into. So what we would do then is multiply every term, this one and this one and this one, by 24. And so basically the reason we're allowed to do this is because we are multiplying the left side by 24 and we are multiplying the right side by 24. So, since we're doing the same thing to both sides, it's okay. We can do whatever we want as long as we do it to both sides. Now, notice that 24 divided by 3 will simplify to 8. So, I have an 8 there and an x still here. On my second term, 24 divided by 8 is 3. And I have an x still here. And on the right side, 24 divided by 24 is 1. And 1 times 11 is 11. Now, combine your like terms on the right side. 8x plus 3x is 11x. And so the left side is 11x and the right side is still 11. Divide both sides by 11 and we get x equals 1. And let's see this again on our next example. 3x over 4 minus 3 equals x over 2 plus 2. The common denominator here would be 4. 4 is the smallest number that 4 and 2 can both go into. So let's multiply each term by 4. Now notice I've multiplied each term on the left by 4 and I've multiplied each term on the right by 4. So you can't leave out the whole numbers just because they're whole numbers. You have to do everything times 4. So that's what we've done here, and now we will go back and reduce. 4 divided by 4 is 1. That 1 times 3x will give us 3x. Here, 4 times 3 is 12, and there is no denominator, so nothing will cancel out, and we get minus 12. Now, 4 divided by 2 is 2, so we get 2x there. And here, 4 times 2 is 8, so we get 8. And now I have x and constant on the left side, x and constant on the right side. Let's eliminate the smallest x term by doing minus 2x on each side. That's going to leave us with x minus 12 equals 8. We will add 12 to both sides, and then we'll have x equals 20. Okay, let's look at one that maybe looks a little more complicated now. And we'll have x minus 3 over 5 minus 1 equals x minus 5 over 4. So my common denominator here would be 20. 20 is the smallest number both of these can go into. So what I need to do is multiply each term by 20. And you can see in purple 
the 20s here. So I multiply everything by 20. Now I know when you first look at this, you may be tempted to want to distribute the 20. And it wouldn't be wrong if you did that, but it will make your job harder. So instead of distributing the 20, let's reduce. 20 over 5 makes 4. And here, 20 times 1 makes 20. And for this last one, 20 divided by 4 makes 5. So now we will distribute the 4 and distribute the 5. And before we start solving, let's combine our like terms. So um, I've got minus 12 and minus 20, which adds up to minus 32. And on the right side, nothing will combine. So that's 5x minus 25. Now I have both kinds of terms on both sides of the equal mark. So I will eliminate the smaller x term and that's going to leave us negative 32 on the left side and 1x minus 25 on the right side. So now you add 25 to both sides. And that will all add up to negative 7 equals x.